Hey everybody, it's Mama J and we are back with another comic book video. I believe this is part five. We're going through all the comic books I have. Some I knew were keepers, some I knew weren't, some I've had in a, as giveaways before but just have not gotten rid of them yet. So I'm going through and separating the two boxes I have so that they're not mixed anymore and figured since I was doing so, might as well show them off, right? So we'll do 15 at a time decide what we're keeping and what we're not. So the first one we got here is Nin Ninja, Ninja K. I, I'm not sure what this is. Cover's pretty cool. And I probably bought it because the cover looked cool at one point, but it's not something I'm going to keep. I'm trying to really limit what I'm keeping to stuff I really want. We also have this one, which I know is an older comic. I don't remember the year on this one, but it is a Star Trek one it says 35 cents but this won't be a keeper either i'm not even sure i think i got this in a mystery box at some point okay let's see who's this we got uh dc universe rebirth titans that's a pretty sick cover that looks like oh that's kind of crazy looking because at first i thought seeing all this at first i was thinking venom but no because then if you look he's actually wearing a tux but, I mean, it's a pretty cool cover. Just not something I'm going to keep. Power. This one, not sure. Pretty cool. Comics, greatest, world's greatest comics. Will to Power, number nine. Dark Horse Comics. Not a keeper. All right, let's see. Oh, here we go. This is an Iron Man Legacy. Industrial Revolution. Pretty cool cover. But Spectre has decided he doesn't really want all his Iron Man comics because it's not his thing. <laughs> so we have quite a few Iron Man that won't be staying. So far, I haven't had one that's staying. Uh, who is the new Iron Man? It's a pretty cool cover. That's a pretty cool cover. Uh, next one we got is Fantastic Four. That's a pretty sick cover. That is pretty cool. December, I'm not sure what year this is from. 1990, I believe. Wow. All right, so that's pretty cool. This one is a really sick cover. I know I got this in a mystery box um, that I had bought off whatnot. At one point, I was probably going to keep them all for my collection, but again, I'm really trying to limit my collection, so this will not be a keeper, but it is Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool, and this is a virgin cover. That's why there's nothing on it. So that's a pretty awesome cover, but not a keeper. This one here is DC Rebirth number seven. I don't know. I, I'm not really fond of this cover, to be honest with you. Something about this cover just doesn't do it for me. But because it's Wonder Woman, at this point in time, I will probably keep it. All right. Well, this one I just realized was one on both sides, but that's all right because they're both Wonder Woman. So that's number one. So it's double-sided, not double-sided, but there's two comics in here. We will keep both of these. This one is actually pretty awesome. This is another Rebirth. This is number 17. That's pretty cool. I like that cover. Uh, here we go with another. Oh, this one is also, again, two inside of one. I did get some extra bags and boards, so I will be able to separate these. I think at one point I didn't have enough bags and boards, but to protect them, I doubled some of them. So those are both keepers for me. This one, I know I picked up at the comic book store myself. I have not tried to complete the set, but I will at some point. And this is Wonder Woman and the Bionic Woman. I loved both of these. I watched both of them, so that's a keeper for sure. Um, this one, I believe, I picked up because I thought Spectre might want it, but now I'm not sure if he does or doesn't, so I'm gonna have to find out, but it's the virgin copy of Ronin. Pretty sick, but I'll have to see. Right now I'll put it in the keep pile because I know at one point he wanted it. And then we do have Wonder Woman. This is a thicker book, but this will be a keeper for me also. So that's pretty cool. So we did end up with a small pile of keepers. I think out of that pile, we are keeping seven of them. So that's not too bad. We will have the rest that we do have the rest that we're not going to keep. Again, I haven't decided if I'm going to throw these in mystery boxes or group them in boxes to get rid of them. 
might use some as a giveaway I haven't decided so if you come across anything that you see that you're interested in let me know if I still have it we can work something out if it's in the I'm not keeping pile <laughs> let me know what you think out of all those comics which one was your favorite and don't forget leave that comment because I am doing a giveaway probably going to do it after the sixth video because there will be quite a few videos for this series so one week after or whenever the sixth video will be the cutoff for the first giveaway so as long as you commented on all six videos I believe this is number five so there will be one more before I do the giveaway and again remember I do all my giveaways at one point in one video if you're not a Patreon, you got to reach out and claim your prize if you're the winner. If you're a Patreon, I'll reach out to you. But remember, you only have seven days to claim your prizes. Then they go back into the giveaway pile. So anyways, let me know what you think. And don't forget, stick around, check out my Patreons. They get something every month. And if you're interested, there is a link down below. Until then, we'll see you in the next one. Keep on rocking.